There, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a Labor Day installment of uh, almost said talk radio for entrepreneurs. A Labor Day installment of seven minutes in the morning. I am your host, Tom Rigsby. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Whether you're watching live or as many of you will today, watch in the replay. That is fine, hundred percent okay with me. Today is a day to. Um, not have to be up if you don't have to be up. Now, on the other hand, the sun is up. It's a beautiful morning. Why would you not want to be up? All right. Anyway, that point aside, great topic coming up. I'm going to kick it off today, but the whole week is going to be uh, an awesome topic talking about work that matters. And just so you know, so we'll get this out of the way up front, I've got a special Facebook group. Uh, that talks about work that matters. If you'd like to join that group, I'll leave a link for that in the notes. But uh, just search for work that matters. It's got a fortune cookie on it. That's us. Join us there. We're going to talk about this stuff. We've been talking about this stuff. But that's where this conversation goes on. If you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catcher, whether well, that's iTunes, uh, iTunes, iTunes, TuneIn, uh, Spreaker, Stitcher, whatever. Uh, you can join us live on video on Facebook every morning, 7 a.m. Central Time. <clears throat> Just go to TomRigsby.com slash Facebook. That gets you to the right place. All right. So, oh, and that also reminds me, if you're watching video and audio would be better for you, you can find it on iTunes and Stitcher and Spreaker and TuneIn. All kinds of places like that. All right. So, our topic this week, Work That Matters. I'm going to kick us off I might have to go out there and kick the chicken around. <clears throat> kick us off this week with a quote from Jim Rohn. Work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Work harder on yourself than you do on your job. This whole idea about work that matters is one that uh, I, I've been I've been working on for probably a couple of years now. And here's the thing. You know, the work that we do, we, we are... We're all going to do work. That's just the way life is set up. So the work that we do is meant to be meaningful. It is meant to have a reason. It is meant to move the ball forward for us. But too often we trade the work that we are gifted and talented to do for labor. Now the difference between work that matters and labor, right? Work that matters moves you toward your goal. It creates value in the world. That's work that matters. Labor is just trading time for dollars. It's doing work. It's it's the opposite of that. It's doing work that doesn't move you toward your goal, doesn't create value in the world. And, and in fact, I used to say, you know, you can demonstrate labor by the uh, using the bucket of water method. The bucket of water method was take a big bucket of water Stick your hand down in there, leave it there for a few seconds, and then yank it out really fast. And the size of the hole that's left behind is how much you'll be missed when you're gone. That is labor. Work that matters, on the other hand, you'll be missed. It leaves clues. And we're going to talk about those clues this week. So that's, uh, that's our goal. And the first one here is, as Jim says, work harder on yourself than you do in your job. It starts with personal development, right? I have to look at the work that I do as a way of improving myself, not just um, occupying my time, right? The work you do should move you toward your goal, not just occupy your days. Is it doing that? Is it giving you an opportunity for personal growth, personal development, doing better, I mean, that that's the first question to ask. If it's not, that's the number one clue that you're not doing work that matters. You're just doing labor. What's the chicken over there? Sorry about that. All right, so uh, that's where we're going this week. Work that matters. I'm going to leave you with that question for homework. Make it a nice, tight, concise show today. <laughs> uh, since it's Labor Day for me also. Does the work that you do give you an opportunity to further develop yourself, your skills, and move you toward your goal. If it doesn't, that's the first clue that you need to be looking for or 
creating work that matters for you. If that is a message that resonates with you, be sure to like this video and like the page so you get notified every day when I go live this week as we talk about this message, creating work that matters for you. All right? And if you know someone else who is just laboring, not really doing work that matters, tag them in a comment. Let them know. Share this video with them so they can join us for our conversation. All right. That's it. That's all we're talking about today. You have a great Labor Day, a safe Labor Day, the uh, unofficial end of summer. We got in the pool yesterday. We might have to try it again today, but it was kind of chilly. All right, you guys take care. I'll talk to you again in the morning.